Let's talk about this concept of table stakes. I see a lot of people bump into this problem myself. So in Blue Ocean Strategy, my cheap overhead cam, sorry. <laughs> Pardon my uh, lack of skills still at doing this. Blue Ocean Strategy, they talk about things like wine. You know, what, what are properties that the industry values in wine? Labels, varieties, the winery history. Blue Ocean Strategy is all about deciding like what new properties you're going to offer that, that other people aren't. And then it's also lowering, like basically removing focus from stuff that other people care about and then putting them on something else. Like in the, the winery example, they talk about a winery that like broke out by really thinking about like easy to drink wine, competing with things like beer and wine coolers and stuff. So create flavor profiles that are much easier to drink and put a lot of energy towards that new stuff. Put a lot less energy in maybe label design, put a lot less energy into, into varieties, put a lot less energy into the winery history on your labels. The thing is though, it's not just removing all the focus from these other things. They still try to compete on price, right? This is still an important aspect of their business. I think a lot of us who are trying to do something innovative only focus and we put a lot of energy on on this stuff but we forget there are table stakes even if we remove focus from a bunch of other things there are still things that are important to focus on to even get us in the door with a possible customer film hope is the stuff I'm doing to kind of help people test their YouTube videos better the titles and the thumbnails hopefully I'm, it's gonna be a whole suite of things to kind of help you get more traction and make better videos on the innovative side I'm doing a B testing of a video attribute. I think I've got like one competitor. I don't really think they're quite doing it right. Or maybe they're doing it right for, for a specific customer. But the customers I'm trying to go after, uh, I don't think anybody's doing this the way I'm doing it. So A-B testing. I'm putting a lot of effort into this. I'm having some trouble getting some, some conversations with people. I've had one really great conversation and that conversation led me to maybe realize, I, I think I'm leaning on this, that I don't have the right table stakes. I've done a whole lot of focus on like this innovative stuff about A-B testing, but I need some focus on even just like social media scheduling. Like I upload a bunch of these videos, when are they gonna go out? And that might be something I actually have to put some attention in. Even though it's not sexy, it's not new, there's other people who do it, I need to have this in place before anybody's even going to pay attention to my A-B testing stuff. I need to, to provide something that isn't, isn't revolutionary, but that people kind of expect out of a social media tool like this to even get in the door. I hope you dig these videos. Hit the thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you soon, probably tomorrow. I've been having trouble with the schedule. There's just been a lot of stuff going on, kids' birthday parties and stuff, so I'll see you soon.